MGM have proposed a different plan for Stargate. And I know what it is. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So I told you a couple of weeks ago, and this was actually confirmed by Jenny Stiven and MGM Insider on our live video on Sidetrack, that just over three weeks ago, or about three weeks ago, there was a meeting at Amazon. Now, we've talked lots of times over the last got 18 months or so that there is actually quite a big disagreement between Amazon and MGM. There's actually disagreement within Amazon and MGM executives. But generally speaking, MGM believe that Stargate should return with a series and Amazon want a movie. Now, that disagreement and that debate has been going on for quite some time. But as we told you nearly a year ago now, Jennifer Salke, the head of Amazon Pictures and MGM Pictures, has decided that there's going to be a cinematic movie of Stargate, and that's how it's going to return. We were the first here to tell you about that, and we're now the first to tell you that that plan might change. So what happened three weeks ago? Well, Jennifer Salke and a few other executives over Amazon agreed to speak to the people that are suggesting a series would be a better idea. This consortium of executives and people with big thinking was led by Mike Wright, who was actually the head of MGM+. Plus. So they presented to the doubters their thinking for what we should actually do with Stargate. And thanks to a couple of my sources, I've been able to find out what they proposed. So it was a five year strategy. This would start with a mini series. The basic plan suggested by MGM was that they would take everything that has been prepared for towards the cinematic movie and switch that into a three or four hour mini series to kickstart the new franchise. That would be followed up by the Prime series that they called it in the proposal, a Prime Stargate series that would run roughly every 18 months or so. We would get 10 to 15 episodes in that season. And that would basically mean that we had three seasons within this initial five year phase. Between each season of this Prime Stargate series, we would get a spin-off miniseries or series that would be stand-alone. This would all culminate in a movie at the end of that five-year period. This movie would bring everything together that had been building up towards and would be the finale of Phase 1 of the new Stargate franchise. So let's get into this and tear it apart a little bit. First of all, I have to say, apparently in this proposal, there was very little sort of story content shared. This wasn't really about what the story would be and where the story would go. It was more about the format of the franchise. A suggestion about how they do it, not necessarily what. But from what they've suggested, what can we surmise? So first of all, switching the movie into a three or four hour miniseries. For me, think Battlestar Galactica when that was rebooted. It was almost done as an event. Now, I actually think when Battlestar Galactica did this miniseries, it was done with the thinking that they weren't 100% certain how popular this rebrand was going to be. So they threw out the initial miniseries, to gauge interest. And then when that was incredibly popular, they were more confident to then greenlit the full series. Now, I don't think that's what Amazon are thinking here. I'm thinking that MGM have suggested this because, one, they don't want to waste the work that's been done on the movie. For two, this actually means that they have a script and they have already an idea how they wanted to kickstart the franchise with the cinematic movie. So again, why waste it? But three, from what I'm being told, this movie was going to be looking at three hours long and they were looking at ways to try and trim that down. Amazon wanted a two hour movie. The story, though, was getting longer and longer and longer as the writer, who I actually know who that was now, but I'll put a pin in that for now because I'm not 100% confident. 
the writer was basically trying to add more and more background to make the story make sense. And the film was steadily just getting longer and longer. So MGM's thinking is let's just let the writer do what they want to do. And let's do a three or four hour mini series. Also, though, Amazon could really throw this out as a big event. They would promote the hell out of this miniseries, and it'd be something that we gators could binge in a night, potentially. They would really throw everything into it, and they would produce it as a miniseries. It would probably get released on DVD. It would 100% get released on an electrical version as well to download. They would really try and package it as the big-scale return of Stargate. A four-hour movie? At the cinema, wouldn't really work. But as a mini series dropped on Amazon in maybe a day, that would actually get Gators really excited. And it would give the marketing and PR people something to really focus on to get the ball rolling and to get the excitement built. The other point about doing a mini series is it could be done much quicker. They don't have to quite go to the level of detail etc that you would demand in a movie it's something that they could potentially get our screens within 12 months and that is another big reason why it's potentially a very exciting proposal for us gators so beyond the miniseries though we're talking about a prime series that would be the main stargate series that everything else would basically surround follow now, I still suspect this will be an SG-1 reboot or revamp. Now, I don't mean that will be a lot of the SG-1 stars coming back, even though I'm certain one or two will. But I think the format of SG-1, that's the kind of show we're going to get. It's going to be teams going through the gate, going on starships occasionally, blah, blah, blah. I think the main overarching story that is being built up towards when they end phase one will be basically centered around that series, that that series will be the main driving force for the story. Now, looking at this being every 18 months and maybe 10, maybe 15 episodes, from what I've been told is they would basically give the creators free reign, really, to have as many episodes in that season as the story required. I could imagine we'll see 12, 13, 9, whatever. But the main reason why those seasons would be 18 months apart is, I'm hoping, because they really do expect these series to be very high quality, that they would be looking at almost theatrical level quality. And that is just very difficult to do annually. I mean, we're seeing that with a lot of other series at the moment, that we don't get a new season every year. We seem to be getting them every two and maybe even three years sometimes. And it seems to be that the MGM would plan ahead with that, that they would expect that quality to be there and that they understand that actually that would take a little bit longer than we would like. But if the MGM get their way, it doesn't mean that we would go 18 months without something new. Because in between each of the prime series of Stargate, they plan standalone, separate, either miniseries or full seasons. Now, I don't have a lot of detail about what that means, so I'm speculating quite a lot now. But I do think there's a logical assumption to be made here. If you have an overarching storyline, something that they're building up towards in phase one, then you could have prequels. Or you could have seasons of things that are away from the main show. So, again, just spitballing here. Say there's a new threat. Say it's the Furlings, because that's an ongoing joke in our series, so the evil Ewoks are going to come back. But say it's the Furlings. The Furlings should appear. They attack us, or they try to do whatever it is evil they're trying to do. We don't understand it. So then... You have the first season of the Prime show sort of explaining the new threat and sort of world building. You then perhaps have a prequel series going back to the ancients that explains why the Furlings are behaving the way they are. You also then maybe have a Jaffa Nation series which explains the threat from a different perspective. You could even then maybe have another season actually that explains things from the new villain's perspective, the Furlings' perspective. You could do lots of things that would add depth to the overarching storyline. This is kind of what Marvel did. They did lots and lots of stories that were all building towards the Thanos battle in the end. 
we saw the Finity Stones in lots of different guises and in lots of different ways before Thanos ever got his hands on them. And I think Stargate could be planning to do something similar. It's such a big universe that we could really get to see the one story from lots of different directions. And this idea of having sort of standalone series in between the Prime series, for me, is a very interesting prospect, assuming that that's what they're thinking. And then all of this would build up towards the dramatic conclusion, the movie. Now, whether that was released to cinema or direct to Prime, at this point, I don't really care. To be honest, any direct to prime movie tends to be near if not theatrical level of quality anyway so really it wouldn't make a difference to me whether i watched it at home on my telly or i watched it at the cinema or hey you know what well they've started to do quite a lot recently both release it in the cinema in a limited way and put it on prime almost immediately do that i don't care as long as i get to see it i love the idea though of having sort of a dramatic conclusion that avengers moment built up over five years. I love the idea that there is this five-year plan for a franchise like Stargate and that they're not just going to crack on and do something. They're actually going to do something with a final goal in mind. For me, I think that's when Marvel would at its best, when it had the Infinity Saga in its vision and they had something to stay focused upon. After the Infinity Saga, they wandered a little bit. It feels like and it feels like even though this plan is a little bit more focused and a little bit more what we're used to nowadays with streaming series, etc., it does feel like it still is Stargate. Now, this was only a proposal by MGM. We don't actually yet know what the Amazon executives thought of it. But the fact that the Amazon executives were at least willing to have the conversation at this point before the actors return to work and they actually have to get started does suggest they're at least open to the possibility. 93% of Gators, when we asked them, told us that they want a series, not a movie first. And if Amazon are good for anything, they're pretty good at giving the customer what they want. But what do you think about MGM's proposal? Get into the comments. Is it an exciting five-year plan? Or does it leave you feeling a bit flat? Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think, as well as tell me what sort of storylines you hope they will include. What do you think the main villain should be? Let your imaginations run riot. And again, get into the comments. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. You'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, please go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos premiere first and you get to see them without the adverts. Also, go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website where we do articles based on most of our videos and we try to add a little bit more detail for you to digest. Go and check it out. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.